we're encouraging the government of the day to stop any future sell loss of Hydro One and in fact buy back the shares they've already sold. The citizens of Ontario own Hydro One. It's not Kathleen Wynne's to sell. We shouldn't have to be here this morning, but we are. We're here to send a strong message to those people that are sitting in that meeting that it's not their hydro, it's our hydro. It's the hydro that our parents, our grandparents, our great-grandparents fought and built over decades in this province. Over 80% of the people of this province, they did not want to see Hydro One sold off. The Liberal government, the Liberal Party was not honest with the people of Ontario. The Liberal Party was not being truthful when they ran an election campaign that did not talk about the sell-off of Hydro One, not once. I'm here because we're part of a coalition that includes unions and students and anti-poverty activists and transit users and environmentalists and just average folks who know that the Liberal plan to sell our hydro system is a mistake and we're here to say we are the majority shareholders in Hydro One and we want to keep Hydro public. The evidence has always shown us that public utilities and public energy are actually cheaper and more cost effective and in fact they're controlled by the public. The prices are controlled by the public. Once we've sold 60% of the chairs of Hydro One, there is no way that we will be in control. We need energy, we need to be responsible with energy, and this government needs to be responsible with that ownership and take pride in that ownership, quite frankly. So I've come to the conclusion that austerity is not actually about saving money. That's right. It's austerity not. is about selling off everything that we own to all their friends, all their supporters. I would say that what is happening here in Ontario today is licensed larceny. As students, we uh, recognize how important it is to be able to uh, maintain public uh, services and public infrastructure. Uh, we are concerned with this government's um, sort of desire to just steamroll this process through and uh, to continue to sell off revenue generating options. Uh, students that continue to hear that there's not enough money to pay for our priorities around access to education, around affordability of education, we're concerned with what this trend means for us. The Liberal government did not promise us anything like this. They did not say we're going to burn our furnitures to heat the house. We have expectations of the government. The government should be helping public in providing public services, providing these assets, not taking that away from us. This is not the Ontario we want.